Right, guys today we got a little review and demo of a 2022 les paul prophecy from epiphone um i had one of the earlier models of the prophecy on the channel before with the emgs i think it was a 2011 but now we have the uh, new updated version so this is pretty cool to check out uh traded up one of my strats for this about two three weeks ago just now getting around to making a video for it but this has the 24 frets the fishman fluence these were made specifically for Epiphone, for the Prophecy models. Um, it has a ton of different uh, push pulls and stuff. Change the voicings of the pickups. I'll go over those in isolated um, sound tracks here in a minute. Uh, it's got locking tuners, locking Grover tuners. Uh, made of mahogany. This is the matte black, which it's actually called like a gloss satin finish, but it's basically just a matte finish on this. Ebony fingerboard, jumbo frets, um, tunematic. It's got the uh, slightly carved out joint here. I think it's like the modern, what they consider the modern joint. But yeah, I had a um, sound clip of me playing with some drum tracks there. Now we'll go over some tones without any drums, just kind of hear what it sounds like. And uh, let's get to it. Okay, first we'll go over some metal rhythm. Uh, the first setting will be, or the pickups will be just like the active hot setting. Then there's more of a classic uh, voicing and a single pull. I'll do both pickups there, so let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
We'll do some cleans. I'm not going to bore you with bridge, active clean, or whatever. I'm just going to do the neck cleans because that's pretty much all we're playing with clean anyway. So let's do neck, regular, full clean. <laughs> guitar i haven't set it up to my preference yet it still has uh i think regular 10 to 46 on it in standard tuning well drop d uh, i'm more of a 9 to 42 in standard or uh, 9 to 46 in drop or 10 to 52 for d standard and drop c i'll probably put this in drop c with 10 to 52s in it lower the action a little bit the action just a little high i could probably get a little bit lower uh, all the fretboard and do all that stuff. I can make a video on the setup of this and um, But yeah, I'm really liking this so far. It's really fun to play um, Stays in tune has a really good sound for these fishmans. I really haven't even Scratched the surface of all the different tones you could probably get out of this. I just showed you a few here in the video and I will be doing a shootout Against my EC 1000 I know I did a shootout against the old Prophecy that I had, the older model against my red Eclipse, but I wanted to do this new one against this one because these are both stock. This one still has the stock Seymour Duncans, and this is all stock too, so they're both all stock. And the uh, red Eclipse has Mick Thompson signature blackouts in it and stuff, this one here. So to make it more fair, I'm going to do stock versus stock with the other EC. So that video is also coming soon. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this prophecy. If you think it's going to hold up to these EC-1000s, let me know in the comments. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for those videos coming up very shortly. <laughs>